partners, and welcome to the East Baton Rouge Parish Main Library at Independence Park. This week is Introvert Week, and I can't wait to get into it with you, the powerful purpose of introverts. Good morning, prayer partners. Day two of the Bible plan, the powerful purpose of introverts yay oh, i feel like i've been set free because i can say that word <laughs> okay you know, but you but you're an extrovert paul you're not i'm more introverted than y'all even know <laughs> and i can talk to a camera i can talk to a computer screen all day but then i just need some quiet time especially like at work I just may come across gruff and, and I don't mean it in that way. I don't want to be bothered. <laughs> I have to answer that phone all day. That's the paycheck part of it. Um, but I stay in my office, I close the door. <laughs> I just kind of like being by myself. And for those who really love me, like I like staying in touch with them. Like I can stay on the phone with my brother for hours. We don't mind the silence. We don't mind the holding the phone. It's, it's fine for us. We have that bubble and that relationship, that bond we've made. Me and my sister can get on there and we just talking to God and praying. I love that. I absolutely love that about our relationship. I can talk to my friend, Javita, what's up, boo? What's up, Cece? I can talk to Kim. I can talk to my best friend, Corette. I could just sit on the phone with certain people and I can be quiet. They can be doing something else. We ain't gotta be. It's just, sometimes you need solitude and I work by myself oftentimes, and I love that. And I wear, I'm gonna be wearing some superhero things because superheroes, if you really think about it, they're by themselves. They're doing the rescuing by themselves, and introverts can sometimes just be little heroes in their own minds. Just doing the work by themselves, building the website, doing the, the, uh, reading a book and in the book they become the hero and they can see the adventure you know just they're able to wonder about so many things and so let's get into day two i'm just i'm excited to talk about introversism <laughs> while you know trying to come across um because i do come across as this wonderful like joyous person because i am um but just sometimes, yeah, don't want to do anything, don't want to say anything, <laughs> want to just text sometimes. But just, uh, just grateful for the way God wired me and put me together. And so, like, this is really um, giving me that dopamine that, that is in our brains. Because extroverts live on that dopamine. And introverts, it's too much, it's overstimulating. So it's a balance. And I get to see how God has some who are socially introverts that are, um, have, there's nervous or, or, anxi or anxious introverts. There are um, restrained introverts and there's one more, there's four that I learned about the other day, but maybe it'll come back to me later. Um, the different types, because there's not just one type according to science. Okay, let's get into it. Day two, why introverts need solace? The scriptures are Genesis chapter 2 verse 18 and Luke chapter 5 verses 15 and 16. Then the Lord said, it is not good for man to be alone. I will make him a helper suitable for him. Genesis chapter 2 18 and that's from the NASB um, 2020 Bible. Okay, I'm gonna keep rolling up. But the news about him was spreading even further and a large and large crowds were gathering to hear him to be healed of their sicknesses luke chapter 5 verse 15 in asb bible version 2020. the creation story says god made the world in six days pink flamingos and orange starfish, lilacs and aardvarks, 
the depths of the ocean, and the heights of the mountains. A human sculpted out of the earth. Each day, God pronounced his creation good. Then his declaration is, it is not good for man to be alone. When introverts who need time alone to thrive hear this, they can misunderstand and feel guilty about needing time on their own. But the original meaning of the word alone is in, con in this context isn't about physical lo aloneness, but about living in separation. Mm, that's a word. God didn't call for us to live in separation. Come on. What introverts need is solace. And I read a quote that said, if you really want to love an introvert, you will protect their solace at all costs. They need that solitude. I said solace and I meant solitude, please forgive. Which actually helps us feel more comfortable, feel more connected to God, others and our true selves. For example, we see Jesus practicing solitude when he withdrew to from the crowds to pray from a practical perspective introverts need time alone because of the way god wired us our nervous systems are like nets and i love this with very small holes which means they catch everything going on around us. As introverts, we're likely to be the first to notice when a friend is upset, a detail in a project has been missed, or the volume on the music has been turned up. This makes us thoughtful friends attentive hosts and diligent workers so i have a beautiful friend her name is erica pierce hey boo she's a brilliant photographer and maybe a lot of photographers are introverts huh i never thought about that because they really do pay awesome attention to detail they really do um so when we would clean together uh we called ourselves Daughters of Christ's Cleaning. She called me the cleaning Nazi because I could see a speck of dirt. <laughs> like 50 miles away, like I'm OC, like I can't tune in. Or, That's something on the ground, get it right now. Like I don't, like I really observe. I'm like always analyzing a room to make sure that it's clean and that I get it the way they, my customer or my client wants it to look. And I like, I feel really, really bad when the work and the service is not done right. Like it messes with my head because I'm wired to make sure that the work is done right. Okay, go back to the plan. <laughs> it also means that at a certain point, our net is full and we need time to, be, to empty it, which we do by being alone and processing. We might do this by praying, going on a walk, taking a nap <sighs> or any other restorative activity when i was in chicago i took a nap every single day oh it was wonderful it was, it was so beautiful and i really love to go outdoors in nature as you can see sometimes i do these um encouragements out in nature because i really can connect with god in nature if you're unsure if being alone at a particular time is social isolation or solitude, ask yourself these three questions. Number one, am I choosing this time alone? Number two, will this time alone help restore my energy? 
And number three, do I feel connected to engage with someone or something? Myself, God, work, home, nature, a book. If your answer, if you answer yes to these questions, then it's solitude, not social isolation. Alone time, that is chosen, restorative, and includes a sense of connectedness or engagement is essential to our well-being. Yes, we can temporarily get away with cutting it out of our lives, but eventually, and this is hitting home for me specifically, our bodies force solitude through illness, depression, or burn out. Speak, Bible plan, speak. And the busiest among us need the most solitude to keep our emotional, physical, social, and spiritual health. Come on, somebody. When we choose solitude as introverts, it's not selfish. It's a sacred act of service that empowers us to love well for a lifetime. Ah, isn't that awesome? Think about that. You recharge your battery and then you get to love for a lifetime. I'm, I'm excited about all of this. This is just good food for me. I'm just, yum, 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 delicioso. <laughs> so what's a time this week when you have solitude? Even a few minutes is enough to make a difference in your day. So I believe I've been on a journey. Uh, somebody literally said to me today um, that, girl, I've been seeing you going on them trips because that those trips are my time for solitude. It's the disconnect from work. It's the disconnect from the tasks of Go, 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 do, 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 get, 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 earn, earn, earn. I love it. It's the breakaway for me. <laughs> yes. I am not perplexed. I am not confound. I'm not constrained. I can live my best life when I get to recharge and be, have that alone time and restore. That doesn't mean I'm not out doing activities um, at all. It's just... That's not selfish. That's that spiritual health care. Come on in here, Jesus. And if Jesus took care of his spiritual health care, why shouldn't me and you? Mm -mm -mm. Come on, God. Talk to us today. Let's pray to him. Lord, I just want to thank you for this message. Why solitude and solidarity, as I said earlier, are important to introverts. Why that time alone to recharge and restore is important. But social isolation can do damage. But solitude helps us to love for a lifetime. Lord, I just want to thank you for every introvert, every extrovert, every person, every human, everybody in the universe, as my father used to pray. Um, no matter which way you've wired us, and created us intentionally. May we become encouraged by these words if we have our spouse, our significant other, a child, a cousin that is more introverted. And through these lessons, Lord, help us to show them love differently because that's not necessarily, they don't do it the same way we do it because we may be more extroverted or, and I hope I say it right, an, an ambervert where you have both the qualities of extrovert and introvert. So God, I just wanna thank you that we'll learn how to help our faces not visually attack an introvert for being quiet or not responding immediately. Um, 
sometimes as introverts we process and we think and so it's not that we're not trying to speak we're trying to get our words out and it doesn't come as quick uh lee especially when we feel pressure um it's not an excuse but it's just a way of of handling and caring for those we love god i thank you so much um for all my introverted friends out there uh who love me and, and understand me and i thank you god for those who don't because they taught me lessons and they've helped me to express myself better as i've grown uh, thank you for this time of prayer and understanding and study in jesus name through the holy spirit amen have a wonderful day prayer partners continue to enjoy jesus <laughs>